Hello. I'm glad that you've been able to join us for the second of these our daily devotions based in 1 Corinthians 15. Today we're going to be looking at verses 20 to 23, where Paul writes these words to the Christians who lived in Corinth. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. But each in his own turn, Christ the first fruits, then when he comes, those who belong to him. The Christians who lived in Corinth had a problem. They weren't sure that they believed in life after death. They weren't certain what came after they died. And in seeking to answer this question and this query, Paul uses this description of Jesus as being a first fruit. I don't know what you found to do during this period of isolation and lockdown. We've been very thankful for our garden and undoubtedly spent more time in the garden and doing gardening than normal. This is my vegetable patch. It's neatly dug and turned over probably far more than would usually be the case at this time of year. There's not a lot to see at the moment, just a, a few brave potatoes who are poking their heads above the surface of the soil, trying to avoid the frost. But in a few days, a few weeks time, there'll be a lot more to see. Our propagator is full of seeds and when these are planted out, then other plants will be growing. And then we'll be into that process of waiting, waiting to see the first fruit appear, be it one of the mange too, or be it a courgette. And there's nothing more wonderful than tasting that first mange too, or that first courgette that's appeared. And as you eat it, it reminds you that how much fresher homegrown vegetables are than what we normally buy in the supermarket. But it also tells us something else it tells us that there'll be a lot more of them to come. And that first Monge 2 will meet over the next few weeks to hundreds of Monge 2. That first courgette over the next few weeks will lead to many more courgettes. And that's what Paul was saying Jesus was like. See, as Jesus was the first fruit, he was the first person to rise from the dead. After him will come many more who will do that. See, Paul says that death came through one man, Adam. It's a result of the sin that he committed when in the Garden of Eden. And because of our common humanity that we share with Adam, that we're all human beings, it's inevitable that we're all going to die. That's the result of sin, and it's the result of being a human being. That's just how it is. But Paul says, in the same way as that death came through one man Adam. So the resurrection of life and being raised to new life also comes through one man and that's Jesus Christ. And in verse 22 Paul says these great words, for as in Adam all die, so in Christ all will be made alive. Life after death is hard to imagine, well at least I find it so. And uh, I quickly find my mind going into all sorts of questions, many similar to what the church in Corinth had. What sort of body do we have? What's it going to be like? And uh, we'll look at some of those in a, a bit on another day. But at the moment, we can put all that aside. You see, we can have confidence in life after death because Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus rising from the dead was the first fruit. We're one of those many other Mars two or courgettes that are going to come after. If we're in Christ, the great news is that we will also rise from the dead. Because Jesus overcame death when he rose from the dead. And if we're in Christ, if we're committed to him, if we're following him, then we will also rise from the dead. And Jesus' resurrection is the basis of our hope. So if we're in Christ, it's great news. Death is not the end. 
And these are peculiar times, aren't they? We used to have football results and cricket results announced on the daily news. What do we get now? Sadly, the number of those who've died from the coronavirus. It can fill us with depression. It can fill us with a sense of foreboding and fear. But these verses in Corinthians fill us with a sense of hope. Because beyond death, for those of us that are in Christ, there is risen life. Jesus was the first fruit. He demonstrated through his resurrection that there is life after death. And we can share in that as well, if we are in Christ. That's great, isn't it? Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Jesus was indeed the first fruit. We thank you that in his resurrection, it paves the way for us to come after. And that through him, we can know life after death and resurrection into that new life. Thank you, Father. Amen.